I cannot believe I've never used these HTML tags before. And today I'm gonna to show you how to use them and also customize them. So seriously, I have no idea how I haven't come across or haven't even used these HTML tags before. And I'm excited to have learned about them because I will start using them now. And so I've spent the last day going over them, trying to understand how you customize them. And just in this very quick tutorial, again, I'm gonna be showing you how you can use these. There's no JavaScript involved at all uh, because they work natively. Um, the default native unstyled nature of these elements is really ugly. So I'm gonna show you how to create this here. Um, and yeah, so make sure to subscribe up if you haven't yet and let's go ahead and get started. Before we begin, with the way things are heading in this industry, it's a no-brainer to learn how to prototype. And instead of putting flat files in front of your team, your manager, or your client, imagine being able to hand them a prototype that feels like a live website or app. Sponsor of today's video, Framer, is a no-code, free-to-use tool making it easy for anyone to become a prototyper. The simple onboarding and design-as-you-go tutorials teach you how to use powerful pre-built components, make your own custom animations, and recreate common interactions. After just a few hours, you'll have a new skill that helps you stand out from the crowd. So sign up for free or get 20% off by clicking the link below, which is framer.com forward slash design course. All right, so over here I have in Visual Studio Code, I uh, three different files, an empty index.html, which we'll get to in a second. We have an up SVG graphic and a down SVG graphic. And that's simply um, just to demonstrate how you can change the native down arrow and up arrow icon that shows up when you use these tags. So um, first we'll use the Emmet abbreviation, exclamation point, hit enter. We get our quick boilerplate. We're gonna hit link and we'll do CSS main CSS. So let's create that folder CSS and then we'll use SAS main.scss and let's go ahead and save this. We'll right click open with live server. And of course you're gonna need those two extensions for SAS. So if we go back to our SAS file, we click watch SAS. And then also uh, if you wanna be able to right click and open live server, you have to have an extension installed. So the live SAS compiler, you wanna search for that one and install it and also live server. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and situ resituate uh, the desktop so that we can see what's happening with the browser over here. And all right, there she is. Um, let's go ahead and go back to our index.html and just let's just write this out real quick. So, uh, some, a little bit of HTML. So we're gonna do an H1 with, we'll just say this is a fact page. Um, and then we'll also, uh, the first thing we wanna do is uh, to, to create this whole dropdown. We have to put a details tag in here which oh, Emmett is not recognizing that. So we're gonna have to do it the old fashioned way, details. And then we're also going to do, uh, we're gonna specify summary. Now in summary, this is kind of um, the part that you click on. It's also the part that has the arrow um, and the verbiage uh, for the, like the title essentially. So we're just gonna do uh, for this one, here is a question. I don't know, there we go. Uh, and then after that, we can see we have this, but there's nothing that's gonna show up inside of it. So for, to actually get content inside of it, um, anything after summary will get shown up or will, will show up, <laughs> will get shown up, will show up uh, underneath it. So we could do a paragraph of like lorem or 10 or whatever. So we'll have 10 words of lorem ipsum text click on it and it shows up, we click on it again. Now, there's a number of things that are just inherently wrong about this from a UX standpoint. Um, for instance, when you hover over it, I it doesn't change the cursor pointer for some reason. Uh, when you click on it, it has this ugly you know, outline here, at least in Chrome. Uh, and so we definitely wanna change that to make it look better, essentially. So what I'm gonna do though is, like I said, you can have you know, any other elements inside of this, um, you don't have to use paragraphs. So I wanna have a container, like a content class for a div here. And that way I can target this content and make some white space adjustments to everything that shows up beneath it. So I, I think I just have a paragraph lorem 30. And then just to show that you can put some other types of content inside of it, we'll have like an unordered list, um, list item, and then shift alt and down a few times. All right, so now if we save that and we look at it, let me increase this just a bit, just so you can see it. That's what we have. So we could take this whole thing. Um, actually, I'm gonna copy a different one off screen just because uh, it has different content already. 
Um, so here's another one. This one has a picture in it, just to show you. But now it's gonna be up to us to really make some cool adjustments. We can create animations out of it. Uh, we can change these arrows. Uh, we can do a lot of cool stuff here. So um, let's go ahead into our SAS file and let's just make some initial adjustments to the body property. So padding, I might just change this to five M units since we're working kind of like on a mobile. Margin zero, height, 100 viewport height. I've, that's just standard things I always do. Font family, new Nita. I've been using that a lot lately. Um, let's just actually change this to two. All right. So looking a tad bit better at least. So um, let's also, let's start working with our summary tag. So the summary is right here. All right. So the summary is going to allow us to really change the appearance of it. So let's just give it some padding of one M units here. And let's also give it a custom background. So um, I'm going to say yellow. But instead of just doing outright yellow, I'm going to use something a little bit more specific right there. Okay, so it makes it a little bit darker. So now we're getting somewhere, still kind of ugly. So let's also do a margin bottom of 1M unit. Let's also do cursor pointer. So now it's behaving a lot more like you would think. Let's also do outline none. So now it's not going to have an outline when you select them. And then let's also do a border radius just because I like border radiuses, three M units. Um, we'll also do font size, 1.2 M units. Um, actually, you know, let's not do that. All this stuff was when I was working on like the desktop version. So let's not care about that too much. Let's do font weight bold. And I, Let's also do like AI where you hover over it, it changed the background color. So we're going to transition the background color property for 0.3 seconds. All right. So because we're using SAS, we can do and hover. And then for our background, it's just going to be slightly darker than or slightly lighter. I'm going to go lighter on this one. Um, oops, what am I doing? There we go. Slightly lighter than the current color. So this is the current color. Let's just go up to like around here. We'll save it. And now we have a very subtle tra transition. We don't want to do something crazy like this. Like I, I think that's too jarring when you have a big difference. So it's always better to keep things uh, just, you know, pretty similar, but barely noticeable in my opinion. So after that, let's go ahead and Let's see what this looks like so far. Okay, so this is looking pretty good so far. By the way, that image is annoying me. So image 100, uh, with 100%. There we go. All right, so what, what about if we wanted to actually animate this coming down? Could we do that? Well, yes, we certainly can. So what we're gonna do is we're going to say details open so this open inside the brackets here is basically su is suggesting that um, you can tie into uh, and select certain um, CSS selectors and, and create properties from them based on whether or not it's open so we'll use ampersand and all so inside of it it'll say animation we'll call this sweep 0.5 seconds ease and out by the way i got this code um from i think a stack overflow answer i'll, I'll put it in the description um, and then we're going to create the keyframes so at keyframes sweep we'll say at zero percent or we could just do from we'll say opacity zero margin top negative 10 pixels we'll copy all this change this to two and just go ahead and reverse these essentially so this is going to be one and zero. So now, oh, did I, ah, that, I screwed up. This is supposed to be summary. There we go. The wrong thing was animating. And there we go. So we now we have a nice sort of animation that occurs when these are clicked. All right, so what about if we wanted to create our own custom arrow icons? All right, so we can do that. And what we'll do is I'm gonna tie into, 
what's called WebKit Details Marker. All right, and inside of here, we're going to say background URL, and we're going to come uh, and select our down SVG center no repeat and then color well let me just leave this off for a second um, I've screwed something up apparently WebKit there we go I screwed that up there we go so now we can see there's kind of something there but there's also the original arrow uh, or the icon so we can just do color transparent there we go um, and then to make it a little bit bigger we'll say like 17 pixels there we go. So now it doesn't re flip itself back up. So we need it to flip back up as well. Um, and in order to do that, we're going to do the same thing, except we have to come outside of summary and we have to use this details open. And then what we do is summary, type that in, and then we'll take this just like that. And this time, uh, all we have to do, I'm looking at my reference. There we go. Um, we'll get rid of this and then we put up right here. So we're just basically reversing it um, if it's opened. And now it flips up. Awesome, awesome stuff. All right, so if you enjoyed that, make sure to subscribe up. Check out the upcoming designcourse.com relaunch, and I will see you soon. Goodbye. Yay!